I've said at the start of the tournament that um, you know luck's going to play a part um, with the weather. Um, England's a beautiful place, but it's not famous for for good weather. Um, but you know, in saying that, uh, there's still a long way to go in this tournament, and you know, I'm sure there's going to be rained out games um, that could affect us along the way. But in saying that, it's a fine day in Taunton, and um, there has been times where forecasts have been wrong as well, and um, hopefully tomorrow's one. Yeah, I think we've, um, we've we've faced India a lot in recent times and, and had some success against them. Obviously, two world-class spinners on their day, and um, you know, I think we've had success uh, at different stages. But um, you know, we'll have to wait and see what the wicket produces tomorrow. Um, you know, some shorter boundaries, and, and sometimes that can play in the minds of a spinner, not necessarily, um, you know, almost being a little bit more defensive, but. As I said, I think with all the, all the weather around um, and so much uncertainty, um, we'll just have to wait and see. And, and I'm sure the team that adapts the best will, will probably get the right result. I think it's still, as I said, still early on. And I think, um, you know, majority of all nine teams are still, or maybe realistically, seven teams still in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the hunt. And um, I think it's not only the way the draw works out, um, you know, if you can get into a bit of a roll towards the end, I think. First and foremost, you've got to get into the semi-final, regardless of whether you're the top seed or, or the fourth seed, and you're only two wins away from uh, maybe lifting that cup. So, um, you know, I think I could mention five or six teams that I think are playing very well, but uh, at the end of the day, we're three from three. Um, very happy with where we're placed, but we know we've got some bigger challenges ahead over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I, th I haven't been in the bowling meetings, um, but obviously Shikha's a, a big loss to India. Um, the presence, he plays very well at um, ICC tournaments. Um, and has a very good record over here. But um, you know, himself and Rohit Sharma have got a very good um, partnership, and, and I think they complement each other well because they're right and left-handed. But in terms of our lineup, I think you know we've we've had a similar balanced side for a long time. And and when you do have a right-left-hand combination, it does put pressure in different ways on the on the bowling opposition. And, and when you know a lot of these grounds in, in the UK have a short boundary to one side and, and if you've got two right-handers or two left-handers you can't exploit it as much where you know the obviously having the right and left hand um, and the communication becomes very important to to target those short boundaries and as we see there's traditionally a very short boundary here and um, you know if, if that is the case then uh, hopefully we can exploit it with the right left hand as I'm sure India and, and other teams that are playing here will try and do.